Hi, I'm Nancy Bergeron and welcome to Trade Talk. It's an unpredictable time to be a Canadian exporter. The economy is doing well. Our GDP growth this year is the best in the G7 at about 3%. But the rising Canadian dollar and uncertainty over a possible renegotiation of NAFTA has exporters carefully considering their next move. There is one sector, however, that is booming. Agribusiness, one of Canada's oldest and most important industries. Generations of Canadian men and women have fed the world, and their efforts have given rise to a large group of industrial enterprises, including crop production, farm machinery manufacturers, seed suppliers, cattle and livestock producers, and more and more these days, investments in biofuels, organic farming, and issues of food safety. As you can see, agribusiness is a diverse group, and no pun intended, it's growing fast. Sonia Vieira is an agribusiness analyst for EDC, and she says the long-term outlook for this sector is positive. The opportunities around agriculture and agri-food have never been greater. We've got the renegotiations of NAFTA and the implementation of CETA. There will be new opportunities for Canadian companies. We all know that the U.S. is Canada's most important trading partner, with more than 50% of agri-food going to the country each year. Therefore, it is understandable that there is some level of concern with the renegotiations of NAFTA, especially for some subsectors such as beef and dairy. However, due to the uncertain trade climate with the U.S., Many international companies, like those in Mexico, are revising their import strategies and are now looking to Canada to replace their U.S. supply. This will create new opportunities for Canada and will increase over time, as we are already seeing major grocery retailers approach us to learn more about Canadian capabilities in agri-food. With that in mind, it's important to note that Canadian companies should look to diversify their export markets in order to minimize any possible threat that's tied to one specific market, but also benefit from growing opportunities around the world. As Sonia pointed out, most of agribusiness exports still go to the U.S., but the CETA trade agreement with the EU has sparked many new opportunities, and Canadian exporters are now looking to Europe for growth. With the implementation of CETA, this will open a market of 500 million potential new customers for Canadian companies. Canada will also be able to compete with countries like Brazil and the U.S. who are already selling into the region. For agri-food alone, it is estimated that 1.5 billion in additional exports will be sent to the region each year, which represents a huge boost over 3 billion that's currently being sold. While many Canadian companies will benefit from the CETA agreement, fish and seafood exporters will come out as the top winners. The EU is the largest importer of fish and seafood in the world, representing about 27% of world imports. With much of the attention on the renegotiations of NAFTA and the implementation of CETA, it's easy to forget about other global opportunities. The rise of the middle class, particularly in Asia, will now demand higher quality, protein-rich and value-added products. With that in mind, I encourage Canadian companies to leverage the Canada brand as the Maple Leaf has an excellent reputation internationally and gives us an advantage over our competitors. And then there's e-commerce. There's an increasing popularity of online grocery shopping. In China, for example, 40% of consumers buy their food online compared to just 10% in the US. Let's take Alibaba, for example. Alibaba is a Chinese company and the largest e-commerce retailer in the world. They are actively looking to increase Canadian goods selling into China, where there is a growing demand for agri-food products in China, such as Canadian lobster and blueberries. And recently, the acquisition of Whole Foods by Amazon has shaken up the industry and will potentially increase opportunities for e-commerce here in North America. So there's a real opportunity for Canadian companies to develop an e-commerce strategy in order to take advantage of this new sales channel. Canada's agribusiness sector is a big industry with big dreams, but what comes next is unclear. The unpredictable U.S. market is obviously a concern, but the opening up not just of Europe, but also China, Japan and India has created promising new markets. Food production sales accounted for over $55 billion worth of exports last year, and global demand for Canada's agricultural products is not just strong, but growing. Why? because we have a solid supply chain, good industrial management, and at the end of the day, everyone trusts the maple leaf. I'm Nancy Bergeron, thanks for watching, and remember, keep talking trade.